Okay, usually I don't do this, but the thing is, I'm just, um, but I mean, if an article, um, a story, a follow-up to a previous story has to be more interest, interesting enough for me to actually do so, do so, but yeah. Um, this time, the, the, we're going to discuss again, Donnelly Dawson. Yeah, the online media celebrity who went missing uh, under very spooky circumstances. And what's also real, after watching Politrix watch the videos, it does got even more spookier because apparently uh, Dolly Dawson was involved with this guy who was police officer slash DJ. Yeah, shout out to yeah, shout out to him though. I mean, like the dude, if the dude can juggle two very demanding careers, yeah, well, yeah, that's good on him because yeah. And what's been reported that um, um unfortunately that the relationship wasn't that stable because. It's um what complicated is that the, that her boyfriend had boyfriend had um a baby mother who was also a police officer, and her and Donnelly Donna pretty much used to get into it. I think the last time they ordered Donna was that her and the, the, uh, the baby mother of her boyfriend had a very nasty argument, and then boom boom poof pow bam Donnelly does ends up missing. And the police, the female police officer, or the baby mother, she's been put under. She is under investigation. As we're t telling that the her, the her police department, your police department has been pretty much been trying to cover up, cover for her. Yeah, which is predictable because, like I said, corrupt cops look out for one another. And the thing is, what has been happening is that they is that they're being trying to humanize the suspect means suspect. Although to be fair though that the boyfriend is pretty much been caught been suspicious as well because the story alibi has been given people are kinda of looking at him saying, Yeah, um how dumb do you think we are? So yeah, it has gotten more spookier. Now the aunt of Donnelly Dawson basically says that she pretty much her spider senses went up before this happened. So two months ago, Germadine Lug Okay, log aunt aunt of missing one Donnelly Dawson said she had a premonition their niece was in grave danger. With her heart skipping pin several beats, she immediately called Dawson's mom and relayed her feeling. And I think and obviously went on went ignored. And she stood up with protesters saying that hey I I got this Joan I, I turned into Joan of Arc and I knew that my niece was in danger. And then she went to ask where her niece was from her sister. And uh, the sister, but she basically said that her aunt just knew that something was going to go down. Nelson has been missing since earlier this month and from the 11th. Her disappearance has caused outrage in Jamaicans far and wide. Basically, because she's a media celebrity with a pretty face, and uh, Jamaicans are giving the selective outrage. Be it if it's uh, Tom Dick or Harry or Suzette Maybelline or Sharon Karen down the street. Yeah, they go missing. Yeah, whatever. That's like one one day storyline. But yeah, I like this stuff. Okay. Okay. So okay. Fair white properties belonging to uh, the, the said boyfriend, Norm Maitland, and his baby mother, who who uh, both who, both police has perhaps has been processed have been processed. And as investigation continue to put disappearance, meaning cover up this what crucial evidence, because best believe. They're trying to get these two off. At a press conference last week, Deputy P Commissioner Police Fitzbill said the police have expanded Dawson's case beyond a missing persons investigation. Meaning that they likely know what's going to, how this is going to end up, unfortunately. Right. Okay, and so on. And they're basically saying that, hey... Uh, they're saying that, hey, yeah, you might best prepare brace for the worst, because, yeah... We usually know how this ends. Now, what's very telling is that again is that a yeah you can pretty much predict that it's going to it's going to end like all these stories usually. And, and I hope I'm wrong. And I must say yeah we're definitely going to be expecting to find or get to find her not in the condition that we want to. And I'm I'm not going to spell it out because yeah because it's easy to say hey we um we this doesn't take Joan of Arc or Nostradamus to know how this would turn but the fact that there were warning signs that I think that the aunt was basically saying there's something's not I don't know I think she most of the aunt most likely know about the relationship and I'm pretty sure that she did not approve she probably said 
why would my niece be involved with a girl like this? Alright, and a guy who's been very suspicious, and despite the fact that he had a baby mother who apparently um, was was a violent, scary person, from what I'm hearing, why would she be involved with someone who's a son with this apparent love triangle? I don't know. And the thing is that if that's true, I would just say this is like a, 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 I'm a case study of what you don't do relationship wise. If you see it's involved with somebody, you try to get involved with someone who's still attached to someone, especially our kids, yeah, I would vet that situation carefully because, yeah, that can go sideways very quickly. And I'm not saying this poor girl, if the worst happened, that, that, that happened to her directly, but. I wouldn't be surprised that they had a very, that her and that douche was involved with, like, they already had a very tense, um, hostile relationship, because even the alibi was given pretty much, you know, um, ready completely, you pretty much was saying, yeah, it don't take Sherlock, the genius of Sherlock Holmes to know that, yeah, this is, this is not adding up, but, uh, but the thing is that I can basically say that the aunt obviously knew that there's some warning says and I'm pretty sure she talked to her niece about this saying yeah you sure you want to be involved with this guy and I'm pretty sure the niece likely pretty much said nah this is my business I'm a grown woman leave me leave me be just like with Kenise Jackson again not to beat upon that poor girl rest in peace but it was reported that her own boyfriend warned her about her, her eventual killer Pretty saying, yeah, this is something off about this guy. I really don't think you should be dealing with him in any capacity. Don't take any rights from him. She didn't listen. And then she pretty much got put sent off the mortal coil by that same guy. And I'm pretty sure probably that aunt probably warned her about her boyfriend and his baby mother saying, yeah, these two are pretty dangerous people. You might not really want to be take yourself away, take it away from a situation. And probably her niece didn't listen to her or whatever. Or she probably related to her family and they probably brushed it off and said, Yeah, this woman I talk foolishness. Son. And unfortunately, if that happened like I predicted it happened, they're now kicking themselves for not listening to this woman, to, to the aunt. But yeah, all I have to pretty much say is that you have to kind of, when you're in situations like that, you pretty much have to use, um, what's the word I'm looking at? Use intuition. Or whatever, or, pre or proceed with caution better yet. Or look before you leap, as I wanted to say. But we'll see how it goes. I'm not going to say the usual stuff, but it is a messed up, very sinister case, like many of the others. See how it plays out. So, this was State of Jamaica and the Caribbean. Check out my YouTube pages, Miles Goose and Farron, Miles Productions, with thoughts and Miles. Alright.